maybe you know hundred of years into the future. This is the kind of thing we might expect to find on Mars, where we've built sort of green architecture that provides our oxygen, everything safely shielded under these giant domes. But what we want you to design is the first bases that are going to go up to Mars. The first things that are going to be flown there on a spaceship and work alongside the Mars rovers you've designed. So have a think about when we first went to America, what would have those ships taken with them? What were the essentials? OK, they had oxygen, but they still needed shelter. They needed supplies. Would they have just taken food or would they have taken seeds to grow food? So we're looking for a range of sketches that show your design in different views. So this might all be on one piece of paper. It might be a collection of pieces of paper. As usual, take photographs, upload the photographs or put them into a Google slide. Um, if like me, your handwriting isn't great, put them into a Google slide and use the Google slide to annotate them because we want to know what each thing does. So in this one, I can see the idea. We've looked at a modular layout here. I'm guessing these are something to do with the generation of oxygen. I can see in elevation or profile here, and I can see a plan view over here. So I really like what this artist has done with how they've shown their ideas. Also, don't forget about some of the artistic skills we went through last week as well. Use your graduated tone by varying the pressure on the pencil to really bring out the depth of your drawing. Also, don't forget those faint construction lines. Whenever you see an amazing drawing, it's very often about the third or fourth draft of the drawing. So don't worry if you don't get it right first time. OK, so how could we design this? Now, here's an idea. We could utilize the existing craters. They provide already a large wall, but that's a pretty big structure to build straight away. So maybe your idea is to start small and build up to this. I quite like this idea that builds into the side of the craters. <clears throat> this is probably our most likely design solution, which is called a sort of modular design solution. Modular means lots of things that can be joined together to make a bigger thing. So here we've got sort of similar units. And remember, the first spaceship's going to get there is going to need something. But as more spaceships come, more people will come and they can each bring their new modules that can link together. And slowly this can expand. You can see here that we've thought about solar panels to power it and some sort of dome here. At some point, Mars only works as a habitable planet if we can start growing food there. It doesn't work if we have to rely on really expensive spaceships just flying there all the time. So you're going to have to have some sort of biodome. Now, if we think back to our design process, we've got a problem, which is actually getting to Mars and where we're going to live about them when we get there. But let's think about the problem of building materials. Materials are super heavy. Um, the things we put into space at the moment are tiny, really, compared to buildings. So how on earth are we going to get all these materials there? Well, we're either going to need some super lightweight materials or we're going to have to make use of what's there already. So a couple of ideas that utilize technology that already exists. So one idea you could think about is this idea of inflatable structures. So these are sort of shelters that all you do is pump them up. This is sort of becoming more and more the way that sort of family camping tents are made. And this has been around for a few years already. These things stand up through storms and these ones are relatively cheap. So if we were to start putting some high tech materials at these, I'm sure these could be quite advanced. Um, the other thing is Mars is, of course, got some materials there already. It's got sand, it's got rock. So could we utilize the materials that are already there to build our structure? That saves a lot of stuff going with us. Remember, one of the key components in cement is concrete. Is um, In concrete is the cement, um, the gravel and the sand. Well, the gravel and the sand are already there. OK, so one of the things you're going to think about before you start designing this is your specification. So we know what our problem is. We've done a bit of research and I'd like you to do a bit more. Have a look around on the Internet. Do web searches for things like Mars Base, Mars Habitat, Biospheres, Geodesic Domes, all of those sorts of things. So specification, what must your design have? You need to have this clear in your head and I want you to make a list before you start designing. So. 
What rooms do you need in your base? You need somewhere to sleep. You need somewhere to eat. You need somewhere to generate oxygen. You need a power source of some sort, most likely going to be solar power. You need to start trying to grow food in some way, and that isn't going to work by just putting things outside. So you're going to need some sort of biodome. You're going to have to have some sort of shuttle come down and back up to you, so to refuel and sort of resupply you. So have an idea. I would normally start this from looking at the whole base from above. Remember, it doesn't have to be one building. We can do this idea of modular buildings that are linked together. That's also good as well, because if one building was to fail, um, had an air leak or something like that, you can just safely move into the other buildings and it doesn't really matter. So just to recap, we are looking for a range of annotated sketches. So it's no good just to draw your idea. Tell us about your idea as well. I don't mind if you do this in Google SketchUp um, as well as drawing it, but I do want to see some really good quality drawings and I want to see this idea of graduated tone. And don't forget to use those construction lines. Plan your lines out. OK, we look forward to seeing some great design ideas. I'm going to add a few other YouTube videos on here as well that show what a few other companies are already thinking about doing.